Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another step by step commentary on the battlegrounds. Today we are going to be go over we are going to be going over my very first first person perspective chicken dinner. And because of the FPP playstyle, I'm much more comfortable dropping in aggro areas battling out with ten to twenty people because of the fact that a player can't sit behind a wall or some sort of cover and third person peek me and be ready for me to come up to him. So here you'll be seeing me dropping on military base, looking at all the people that I'm going to be fighting. And typically I drop on the apartment rooftops just to try to find a gun and frag out as much as I can, get as many kills at the start of the game. So here I drop, look around. I don't see a gun in my immediate vision, so I just go for the for the boxing match against this guy since there are going to be no weapons here for us. However... If you're playing tactically, this might be a mistake because people on other rooftops are bound to get a weapon and you're going to die. Oh, this guy comes up behind me and starts punching, which I did not expect at all. I thought he was running away. So I throw the grenade. Nothing much comes out of it, which I didn't really expect to. It's kind of just a defensive maneuver. I take him out with the punch, pick up everything else on the roof, and I get down as quick as possible. So a tip, guys, here, you do not want to be staying on these rooftops for any longer than 30 seconds to a minute at the beginning of the match because you will get sniped. You'll get shot from somewhere that you have no idea. So I run down below. I know I hear a guy in this building, but I need, I need meds. I need to get my HP up. So ideally... Guys, you're going to want to reload your weapon. Like right here, I should be reloading my gun first in preparation of somebody coming in after me. However, I prioritize my health because that is always my priority. If I don't have max HP, like as soon as I get meds, I'm throwing those on. So I hear this guy upstairs. You know, I go looking for him. I don't see him. I'm listening around. I don't see him. So I go back down. I'm like, I need, I need some loot, right? I need a choke. I need meds or a helmet or anything that can help me fight this guy. However, I hear him again. Go back up to see if I can see him. He pops out. We have a little gun battle. I get lucky oh, with the shotgun headshot. No Keep in mind, guys, this shotgun does not oh, have a choke on it, which is typically a problem because the spread is just too wide. There are videos comparing the spread of shotguns with and without a choke. Uh, feel free to go take a look on that if you want to get further informed on the matter but a shotgun basically without a choke is useless right i would never recommend using it unless you have to so i i you know in my opinion i did get rather lucky killing this guy with the shotgun i mean i got the headshot which was great i got my meds i got a gun to go fight now i'm ready to go out and fight you know i hear these people fighting see this guy and go up to battle him you know again i'm trying to frag out as much as i can here good thing this guy was one shot because i potatoed terribly i'm getting shot from somewhere completely else i decided i need to get back inside there's too many people around shooting at me i realize i need a helmet still and i am such low hp that i need to get cover as soon as i can and heal up so that's what i do I go back inside, heal up, and then I go and look for a helmet, right? Because if you don't have a helmet, guys, you are one tap away from death. They can get you with any gun as long as it's close range. If it is further range, then it will take two taps from a 5.56 AR. You know, I think it's like 100 meters plus or something like that. An AK, one tap, you know, etc. So here, I'm still looking for a helmet to be more prepared for battle. I got a decent amount of frags at the beginning, which you know I'm rather happy with, so I just wanna kinda get some loot here and be okay, more comfortable. Christ, now, here I realize the amount of four times scopes I'm finding, right guys? So this kinda gives me an insight to the loot that others are going to be having, at least in my opinion, because I have this theory that you, like you'll notice there's always one thing a game you won't find whether it be first aids or boosters or sights or weapon attachments or gear there's always one thing and if you pay close enough attention you'll notice this that there's it's lacking in the loot table now this isn't just you it's everybody in that game everybody has a hard time finding these things so if i'm finding 10 four times is in a row then you can guess that everybody else in the game is going to have a four times if they're not just looting two houses, right? That's my theory. Take it as you will. It may not be true. I have not tested or anything like that. So I get comfortable with my loot. I 
still don't have a helmet, I don't think, but I go outside to fight. Oh, wow. I get shot instantly with a car 98. Thank God he missed the second shot because I was way out in the open. Could have died there. Easy peasy. He could have took me out, but he missed. He whiffed the second shot. Luckily for me, I run back inside. I heal up. I realized I'm pinched, guys. I'm stuck in this building. These guys have me trapped. And I, I decide that I need to get out of here. So, right? So I try to crouch jump through this window. And if you guys don't know, what do you mean? You can uh, hit crouch just a millisecond before jump and you will jump higher. So a lot of those windows are that exact size. You can jump through the windows, right? So that's what I try to do. This guy shoots me in the back through the window. What a god, right? So I, I decide I need to close this door, Asshole. jump out the window, and I do it successfully, thank God, because he could have he could have taken me out so many times there. So right now what I'm, what I'm aiming to do is kind of get to the top of that hill that's to uh, like my northeast right there. Because in my opinion, this is one of the more advanced positions in military base. Like, even if you land at military base, circle comes to military base and everything, I would rather hold that hill than even in military base anyway. Like, even cell tower, like ATC, you know. But, you know, heading outside, I do see that guy on the rooftop. Easy kill. Take him out. But then I decide I need that loot. Because I'm out of meds. I don't have a helmet still. And so... I, I really need that loot, so I um, decide I that I need to go in, let my boosters do the healing, get at least enough HP so I don't get one tap to the chest yeah, we, with this Car 98 guy. Once I'm comfortable with that, I'll head back out, either fight him or grab the loot and leave, so let's see what happens. So here I decide to head out to grab the loot. Um, now, I have two options. I could go for the loot or I could try to find this guy and kill him. Without a helmet and meds, I decide it's better to go for the loot, try to be more stealthy about it, get whatever I can. I do find a helmet. You know, I get that level 4 helmet, a.k.a. the pan, right? Guys, it's, it's incredible. We all know that. Grab everything, you know. I get great loot off of these guys. All the ammo, you know, helmets, vests, meds, everything I need for the rest of the game. These guys had it for me. So, thank goodness for that. And fortunately, I do not see this Car 98 guy anywhere in my vision. He's not really shooting at me, so we're we're not really having a problem here getting our loot. I take the scar over the M4 here. Um, I won't read too deeply into that, guys. That's per that's like my personal Dude, preference. Um, some people argue M4 is better. Some people argue scar is better. You know. I think just sitting in one of those windows. I think it's all kind of about what you can use to get that kill, right? Because all of the guns are pretty much viable in this game if you use them correctly in, in right situations. It's just all personal preference. Now, crossbow, we could talk about that another time because that gun's all kinds of whack. But most of the guns, very viable. Use them as you will. So I can't see anybody else around me. So I'm, I'm back again to, like, let's go to this hill and try to find this car 98 guy. I have a sniper suppressor. I'm really wanting that sniper, guys. I got the four times. I'm ready to go. I'm like, let me find this guy and let me kill him, please, because I want your car 98. Grab the buggy. Quick, uh quick transfer up to the hill here to the top and this is such a great vantage point guys for the whole military base you can see everything you have line of line of sight of high rise i made a nice fall down the hill fell right out of the buggy but yeah you can see atc apartments high rise great vantage point so i'm up here looking for this guy you know i mean i i, I stand here for a couple minutes and i don't see anybody and i i end up so I, I do end up talking to stream a little bit, and since you guys are here to probably learn a thing or two, let me kind of go over what we were discussing. Um, so somebody in my chat had mentioned a Reddit video of some players that were jumping out of cars at high speeds and living because they would collide with an object. So I don't know if you guys have ever experienced, but if you jump out of a building and hit something on your way down, say like a guardrail or, you know, like a rock or anything that you skim on, you won't take damage when you land. So I guess this also applies for when you're going high speeds in cars. Um, just a tip, guys. I mean, I haven't tried it yet. I mean, it obviously is a thing, but I mean... I just, you know, I haven't been willing to kind of throw a game to practice it or anything like that. But take that as you will. You know, a little new tip on the battlegrounds and good luck with it because it's going to probably get you killed a few times. So here, you know, I'm looking for this guy. 
talking to chat, just chilling, and you know, not much happens. He doesn't show up. I don't get my car 98. I decide to leave. So let's hop on over to a little bit of action. All right, guys. So here I am deciding to get out of here. Um, I decide the circle's coming up to me. There's, you know, if he's gonna come out, he could wait forever. I might as well just go. And just a quick little thing, guys. Earlier, you did see me put my compensate my AR compensator from my scar to my AK. Now, if this isn't obvious, I do this because the AK has much more recoil, and I use it for close range full auto spraying because of the amount of damage that it has. So I make sure to put the compo on there and uh, that'll make it a little bit more stable for my spray. I see this Jeep and because of first person guys, I'm very confident in my play, you know, I'm ready to fight, I'm trying to follow him and fight him. And here I do hear him stop. So I pull over, I'm thinking, hey, let's go. He's ready to fight me. Go over and check. He's leaving in a bike. So whatever, he's gone. No fight there. We decide to get out of here. And my first thought is, you know, let's go see what's going on in the bridge, right? Um, you know, you're getting that confidence in the first person because, you know, if somebody is going to fight you, they have to peek you to see you. So I'm driving near the bridge. I kind of go under it and I hear the bike go over top of me. And so I'm listening for shots just to see if somebody may be camping. And they are, in fact, camping up there. So I think about it just a little bit. And, you know, with the people that could still be at military base, I just think I'll get I decide it's just not safe enough because I could be sitting there fighting this guy on the bridge for who knows how long. And the, since the blue is pushing up, there's going to be people behind me, right? Because that car 98 guy is likely not to have died. So I'm looking for a boat here to hit one of my favorite spots on this map. And that I will show you here in a little bit. It, I, I like it for solo looting and uh, for positioning. So we'll get to that after this. I see you guys swimming. So I'm like, okay, there, there's no way there's any boats because why would this guy be swimming, right? So, I mean, I, I'm going to go look anyway because I'm not going to take, you know, the word of a man that I don't know a stranger, right? So I look over. There is a boat there. This guy is messing up real bad by spending his whole game swimming across when he doesn't really need to. So my my first thought is, hey, if you miss a boat, you're missing loot. So I check the garage and just get super lucky, guys. I get I get an AR suppressor. It was just pure luck. I and he missed it too. I don't know. He might not have been looting there. Um, he might have just ran from somewhere else. Who knows what his story is. But, you know, I'm taking shots at him because I see his head poke out of the water. Why would I not? I would love to get that down, killing people in the water. But, and then I see a boat, take a couple pop shots, um, you know, just see if I can't maybe get a quick kill or two. Because why not? We're about to leave anyway. If there's somebody behind me, then I'm dead. I screwed up. That would have been a big mistake. Because you, you never know who could be sitting in nova still trying to loot or hunt somebody down there could be anybody there and i didn't do well at clearing it or you know running through it or anything so i could have very easily gotten killed there guys do not get me wrong i'm focusing on the guys that are no threat to me while there could be any amount of threats just lurking right around the corner luckily enough i get the boat safely and i'm ready to roll out to my spot so let's head on over there so I do see a boat there and I decide like that's where I would normally go up and I see a boat there so I decide that may not be the best idea as there may be yeah, a guy yeah, the, like as soon as I get onto the shore and you know he could be peeking over from the cliff easy kill I could be dead. I decide to play a little bit safer go the other side and as this is a learning experience hopefully I can teach you something. Me and the stream are talking, sorry, the stream and I are talking about shooting underwater. Uh, I had discussed that they patched it, so here I am trying to prove it. What you would do before the patch is uh, crouch and then walk up the water till it makes you stand. Step back a few steps, crouch, lean, and then shoot. However, after the patch, anytime you try to click under the water to shoot, it makes you stand up. Um, just a heads up, there may be another way to shoot underwater, I'm not sure, just that way I know no longer works. Because so here I am, you, you know, you moving up on one of my favorite spots. That hill that is to my west is incredible for holding guys. There's rocks there, there's bad. trees around. You can see the shore behind you, which is very not likely to have people come up on it. Because a lot of people don't know about getting up the cliffs. 
a lot of the cliff spots that you can get up and if you guys are interested i can show those to you sometime so i do spot this guy far down the coast which is likely to uh the guy that took the boat over that i had seen previously so here i had a really good distance on him i was able to see him first before he saw me or heard me come up in the boat got the kill off some pretty nice shots in my opinion i move up to grab the loot and I hear the plane coming, so, you know, obviously I'm intrigued yeah, because if was, you're not yeah. addicted to crates, then, I, you know, day. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, it's right? But that arm, it's just really yeah, spicy. It gets you the winds a lot of times. So uh, I see that this crate is a water drop, guys. And water drops are specifically interesting to me because, in my opinion, they are pretty much the safest crate drop you can go for. Now... Obviously, you're most likely going to have to find a boat to go for it. I have probably like two boats in my possession that I could use. So I decided to head up for this guy's loot box, get his loot, and then yeah, use his boat awesome. that I had seen on my way through. And I also realized that Circle is on me right now, so I have time to do all of this. I have time to get the loot and, you know, progress to the crate. I see this guy as an SKS. I wasn't going to take it at first because I'm not the biggest of fan you know i'm still trying to get used to it but then i realized i have that sniper suppressor so we should take advantage of it let's grab oh, the sks deck it out as much as we can with that vert grip the fuck is this guy's boat? and we're gonna run fully suppressed here so right now i mean i'm kind of just obviously looking for the boat but with this confidence guys i'm kind of playing a little maybe too overconfident like i'm not even scanning the hills beside me I'm not even really looking into the water to the left for boats i mean where's the spot to get we up? gotta we be a little more there. cautious if we're really going for the chicken dinner now this was probably a little yeah, bit more laid back I don't know. I not as like try hard because obviously i dropped I the military really base down, but you know we that. need to make sure that we're always looking for people right because this people are everywhere I especially in really solos you know don't let your guard down find this guy's boat however I'm thinking I'm not going to waste my time, go down and get the boat and yeah, go over there. Somebody's looted it. Gone, so I decide I'm going to go over and look, see if I can't see if there's maybe. like a boat coming from it, a person swimming to it, yeah. anything of that nature, just so I'm not going out there for nothing. So I look over and I do in fact see a yeah, boat there. I'm about that, guys, so I'm, so I'm glad that I did take the time to do that so I wasn't wasting my time. But so here's a big thing about me. I do not like giving people crates to as we discussed in the last video to me that is the same as giving somebody a very powerful weapon to kill we kill me with later on which i'm not a fan of so here i'm actually trying to shoot this guy don't get me wrong oh, but you make sure you keep your shot calm guys you don't want to spam it too much unless you're like very very close range here I'm kind of maybe just going too quick with it, but I notice that the boat is smoking. So I just go all in on the boat. Even though I wasn't aiming to blow it up in the first place, he jumps out preemptively afraid of getting blown up, dies from falling. I almost fall off the cliff, which probably wouldn't have killed me. However, you know, I've jumped off of many cliffs in my day and it's it's been rather random whether or not I die. I don't know if it's because of the shallowness of the water or, you know, the height of the drop or whatever but i just you know sometimes i don't like to take take the chance if i don't have to yeah, no visual on him. so obviously i'm gonna go loot this guy right because he just came from the crate he could have any number of good weapons to help me win the game you know i have two suppressors oh, i could have a suppressed if graza suppressed arm boat, anything so i'm going yep. for it i have a boat here That's now if i did have to swim guys i probably wouldn't if have done it knocked, I, it probably would have taken too boat, long even on team and gameplay? You're, you're gonna die anyway often the swimming no that distance for getting up from that a crate up probably isn't sick. worth it even if it is an airdrop it crate however i get out here this guy's a level three helmet for me all the meds but he does not have a crate gun which leads me to assume that there was nothing good in the crate even though that could not be the case maybe he's getting shot at you know who knows but he did leave safely in the boat so it just leads me to assume that there was no good gun that was probably a tommy gun or an m249 you know a lot of people don't take those so here i am i'm stacking up on all the gear he had getting the meds so i do drop my meds for ammo i 
find that to be a little more important. You know, as we discussed again in last video, I only want to be carrying a maximum of five first aids, five bandages, and maybe four of each booster. Really no much need to go further than that, guys. I mean, if you use more meds than that, you're going to be dead anyway, right? So, circle does change as the time of finish looting. I'm pretty safe out here in the water. Uh, and I decided to head the circle. I know really good positions for this circle, which just comes from time time played. So as I'm heading over, you know, I do start getting shot at, which, is, again, is not a, the biggest deal. Food. Because the speed you're going at and the hitbox you have while in this boat are not very large. So here, I do have a few options. I could seat swap and shoot back. I could get out of the boat and swim, or I could just try to juke them, and I just I decided to go for the jukes because the other two options, the first one would have got me killed, more than likely because he already has a shot pinned on me where I was, as I would have to find him and then aim and then shoot, etc. You get what I'm saying? And then the second option would have taken all game, and he could have camped me, getting out of the water. This guy's still shooting at me even though I got away from him. I was gonna go on the cliff up there. But um, it was out of circle, and I didn't feel the need to take damage. Yeah, I pulled up the boat, trying to use but it as yeah. cover, failing miserably doing so because I pulled it up on a hill. You know, it's not going to give me cover or anything. So I decide to face this guy out in the open. Not the smartest there. decision you could do. Um, you kind of always want to make sure you have cover, guys, regardless of the situation. Even if you're just running through the whole map, make sure to have cover. Um... But again, the first person confidence, you know, it really does get to me. But I do find the guy, I take a couple of shots. And here I decide to use my adrenaline syringe and a bandage, and which I figured out would be the same amount of time as a first aid and a painkiller, right? However, the extra bonus of my adrenaline syringe and the bandages is that I'm going to have a full boost bar, which is going to give me sprint which will help me get in the circle yeah, later on and I everything. I mean, yeah, and I at this stage in the game, guys, you know, it's it's it's, it's right. becoming the end of the game. If you still have your four Shut or five boosters, up. you know, keep popping them. Make sure you have maximum boost bar because that running speed may help you not die from circle later on. You never really know. So here, you know, I'm kind of in a full battle with this guy, trying to take him out because he's been no a nuisance. Been, you know, yeah, he got my number pinned down. He knows where I'm at. And he might be the only player with that information right so if i if i get rid of him i'm in a pretty stable position i mean milta power is getting pushed out everybody else across the street is their own problem and there's going to be nobody coming from the water as far yeah, as i know I'm at nice this point so it's me and this guy fighting and so, like a sort of principle that i keep in solos is to never stay still um, specifically not my body, but also location wise. I'm always trying to be running and moving to Make different sure locations so people can't pin me down. Makes it harder for me to track if somebody's following me. Uh, we see this, I hear this Jeep pull, you know, drive by, and I do decide to take shots at this guy for either one of two reasons. One, to kill him, or second, to scare him off so he doesn't stay in my position. And I succeed in the second option, second option because, you know, I'm a potato. And here I am still trying to kill this guy, realizing he is fighting another person, which is great for me because I'm in, you know, it's just me versus him. I don't have any other immediate threats at the moment. However, he has me versus him and another player versus him. Here I see another bug. Like, I'm just scanning the area, making sure I try to figure out where everybody's at. I, I see I a buggy, take shot so he doesn't come to me. I look over and see the guy that is fighting the man that I was fighting, you know, to the south of me. Kill him. Easy kill because he's just prone beside a tree, you know, first person stuff. And um, so go back to shoot this guy. I see this buggy guy just driving around, having the time of his life and everything. Just take a couple shots. I'm trying to get any kill I can at this point, guys. I'm, I have my suppressors. I'm fully decked. I'm ready to fight anybody. My level three helmet. So right there, like, I mean, I'm standing still shooting. And that's very dangerous. Even right here, I'm, I'm still standing still for kind of too long. Like, even if you're shooting, spam crouch, you know, spam prone or do something. Don't just stand there and shoot because you are going to get one dinked in the head. Um, 
Now, with my level 3 helmet, I do kind of have an advantage because it's going to take two shots unless they have an arm. And then so, that's clear, we'll just that does give me a little comfort to play with there, but just keep your head moving at all the time, guys. It'll help you stay alive much more, I promise you. Oh, I forgot right now, I decide I needed to focus behind me because I don't know who could be sitting at that wall at Milta Power. You know, people just chill out. You, you never really know, right? So I'm full focus behind me, making sure I have no flanks going on. I fill up my stamina bar or energy bar, whatever you want to call it, just so I have that extra speed. And if I get shot, I'm already healing and I don't have to put it on later. Very useful. Try to make sure you do that, guys. I look uh, over and see this guy forward. is aiming at me from Milta Power. So that player could have easily He's came like, behind me across the road and flanked if I was still fighting the guy south. Um, so this would this is very important yeah, for me still watching my flank because that guy could have very easily flanked me. So I scare that guy off into blue circle. He definitely dies the blue circle here. I look and see yeah. another guy prone at the wall also in blue circle kill him look over find another hey, guy prone it, out in the I'll open safe, take him out worry. easy kill and I'll here's a tip you, guys unless everybody else is in the same field that you are in good chance that guy do not prone out in the open it's right. going to get you nowhere and grass if you if if other players have their um, render distance on very low. Grass and foliage is not going to render in from more than like 200 meters away or 100 meters. I'm not even sure. That guy was only like 150 meters away from me. And there's no grass over there for me. But I'm, for, I'm sure for him, he was completely concealed by grass. So, you know, if somebody just starts shooting at you or you're out in the open, don't prone, guys. Try to try to run it out. You're a lot more safe trying to duck and dodge their bullets right than just lay under them because they can zero in on you so here it is a 1v3 situation i'm holding my side of the circle down making sure i have left and right cleared looking for anybody i realize i really don't know where these last guys could be at i've been so busy fighting other people that these guys could be anywhere and then i hear an arm shot you know i know where one guy's at and then couple seconds later I hear a suppressed shot so I know where the last guy's at so I'm kind of trying to hunt them down here because my only objective is to get these last two guys dead as quick as possible right what I could do is just let them fight it out and you know take the last one but I'm like nah screw that we're fragging out we got eight kills I'm killing them I know where the last guy's at I peek over left I see him standing behind the tree already looking at me he's a, he's got his shot lined up I jump out of the way and Woo, there he goes baby. proning, Let's giving me go, the easy man. victory, guys, Straight because you shouldn't to be proning top. like that. He would have been much first better off just trying to I shoot me this. in the head I right there person, or though. fighting back or anything. Woo. He could have done anything except for prone totally there, and he would have had a much all. better that chance. So that will be it for this uh, this step-by-step -step commentary, guys. Thank Woo, you so much for baby. watching. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. I am going to try to do this once a week, and much love, much hype, guys. See ya.